Thanksgiving is over, and you might be heading out to look for that perfect Christmas tree. But which tree is really right for you and your family? Professional arborist Mark Chisholm from Hickory Ridge Farm in Chesapeake, Virginia, is here with some tips on how to pick that perfect Christmas tree. Well, first up, good morning, Mark, and uh, welcome. Thanks for being with us. First off, tell us uh, how do you know if a tree is really fresh? The first thing I would tell people is look at the color. If you see a lot of yellowing or browning, it's probably starting to go. It may be dying off pretty prematurely. Or uh, walk up to the tree, grab a branch like so, um, and then put, run it through your hand like this. When you pull against the needles, you shouldn't see a lot of needles fall off. One or two is normal. If half of them start falling off, you might want to move to the next tree. Uh, and lastly, look for flexibility. If you can bend a branch like this and it doesn't break, and then it bounces right back to where it was, that's a fresh tree. How do you know which tree really is right for your home? Is there a way, like, you know, pets pick their people? Do trees pick their people and their, and their, and their place to live, too, for the holidays? When I go to a tree farm looking for the tree from my house, I'm looking for a couple of things. Obviously, you mentioned freshness. Size is important. But then I'm really looking at shape and like density. Some trees are sheared so tight I can't even get an ornament on and some are so sparse that they're not that healthy or look that good. So finding that right mix is good but also I have a lot of heavy ornaments that I put on the tree so I don't want one that's super flexible and really soft because it'll just it'll fall down to the ground you can't mm -hmm. get any presence under it. So uh, again it's kind of personal preference. After you get the tree home, it's really important how you take care of it so it lasts all the way through the holidays. So what are your, some of your tips for taking care of the tree and keeping it fresh? The first thing you want to do is, like, I'll go to my garage, I'll grab my steel battery chainsaw, and I'll make a cut as flat as you can to keep it square, but also about an inch or two up, so that way you get rid of that dying material or that dried up part of the tree, because it won't absorb water very easily. Once you do that, put it right in the water, and then to prep it to bring inside, I'll take, like, a, it's a small tree, maybe tapping it a few times will rattle all the, all the debris out of it and the loose needles. But if it's a bigger tree like I tend to get, I'll go grab my leaf blower, I'll run it through the tree. Not only do you get rid of loose needles, you get rid of all the leaves that build up inside, maybe those random spiders and insects that are in there, or, you know, God forbid, maybe there's some wildlife in there, like that Ooh. squirrel that's trying to hitch a ride into your living room. <laughs> Most people will just say the best thing to do is make sure it always stays watered, make sure it never gets too shallow. It'll pull a lot of water early on, so you want to make sure it doesn't dry out. So where can people go if they want to find out more information and more good tips from you? A great resource is tipsfortrees.com. A lot of good information there. Well, thank you so much, Mark. Nice to meet you. Happy holidays. Can't wait to get the tree in the living room and smell that good pine. Mm, I can smell it like the, it smells like the holidays already. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays.